What will make you a better psychic than someone else? Coming up right after this. Good afternoon, this is Lucky Lynx. Someone wrote me on one of my videos today and they told me about a situation where they had a client, they read for a client. The tower came up, she told the client that they were gonna suffer a fall, the client freaked out, she was nervous when she got up from the table, she tripped over the chair and fell over, she literally had a fall. What makes one psychic better than another psychic? That is the ability to effectively communicate. The fact is, if you don't spend any time learning how to communicate better and you're in this business, and it doesn't matter what your tool is, whether it's cards or tea leaves, crystal balls, or if you label yourself a psychic medium, or if you're an astrologer, especially if you're an astrologer, learning to communicate more effectively is really one of the things that will set you apart from other people who are psychics. There are people who are going to come to you, they are going to need advice, they are going to be in a very tricky position, they are going to be worried, they are going to be nervous. If you exacerbate, if you make worse the situation and they leave the table, they're going to think twice about coming back to you. That's the first thing. But secondly, they're probably going to find themselves in a whole lot of worry and hurt and difficult situations afterwards. So if you can learn to communicate in ways that actually help to highlight what's going on while effectively showing them ways to move through that and ease their, and ease their fears at the same time, well then, that's really going to make you a spectacular psychic. Years ago, I was at dinner and I had a waitress who told me about her husband. When she found out what I did, she said that her husband, when he was a young boy, went to this psychic who actually said to him, you're going to have this many wives, this many children, you're going to divorce this many times, this is going to happen to you, and then when you're 40, you're going to die. When you're 40, you're going to die, she said to him. Now, he was, a, he was a kid, and this woman evidently came across very overbearing and very authoritative. And I believe what happened was she told him he took her words as fact. His brain grabbed onto it, and he went through everything that she said in his life and made it happen. And then when he was 40, he was freaking out. He was getting all of his affairs ready because he was ready to die. I never heard what happened to him after that, but I thought, wow, this is something I've seen many times. I don't care if it's a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a psychic, a therapist, whoever it is, a counselor, a parent, whoever it is who gives advice to someone else. The more authoritative they put it, the more they put it in a, in a harsh light, the more they highlight the bad things that are going to happen, the more it's likely to put a person in a situation where they have no tools or they don't know what to do with it, or they can actually step into the situation and create all sorts of bad things for them. Now, I don't believe in the other method, the whole let's ignore everything that's negative. I once interviewed for a position in Chicago where the woman said, I couldn't tell anyone negative. You can't give them any negative advice. You can't tell them if someone's cheating on them. You can't tell them, like, wait, what? Because those are half the things that people come to you asking you for. And if you have the information and it's there, you can say, like, the Oracle says this is what's going on. Check it out. Look at it. Look into it. Also, if you can help a person bypass something negative, which is what I said to the woman, I said, well, what if I could help them? get past a disaster or by giving them a warning and said, look, if you take this, these set of steps, you can, you can get past it. No, she said, I don't want any of that stuff being told to people. So I don't believe in that method either. The key, learning to communicate in a way that can actually help people to open up to the possibilities of their life and for them to see the actions that they can take. Now, what does that mean? That means that we are in control of our destinies, but why? That's the key, isn't it? And in order to understand why, you have to spend some time really digging into this art and starting to understand why people can change things, why they can change their destiny, what's really going on behind things, and what will actually give them the power to make changes. Those are the real gold. I'm Lucky Links, as always, wishing you su success and good fortune in all that you do. If you'd like to take a class from me in How to Read Tarot, or if you'd like to take get a reading from me, um, 
All my products are listed on my new website, luckylinksfortune.com. I'm going to put the link below, or you can contact me if you have any questions directly, 779 or conjurehope at gmail.com.